What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode six, Rebuilding the Denver Broncos, a surprising first season here with Drew Locke taking over a little bit into his rookie year, leading us to the playoffs, a couple wins down the stretch, sneaking in at eight and eight. So this is gonna be the first week of the playoffs. We are going to go with actually four play the moments in our first game with a maximum of one full drive. So we normally do three play the moments with one drive. In the regular season, we're gonna kick it up to one extra moment. I was originally gonna do five with two full drives, but I really think that's too much control. We don't want this to be too easy, but we also want to get involved and have some fun as well. So these are gonna be the first round matchups. We'll take a look at the standings and see what teams also made the playoffs. And it's, it's gonna be fun, man, seeing what Vic Fangio in his first season can do in the playoffs, because this team did have, you know, playoff hopes. I, I don't think they were very optimistic or realistic hopes, but here we are, and we're in the dance. And once you get in, in the NFL, anything can happen. So we're in here at eight and eight. The Colts also won their division at eight and eight. The Steelers, the Bronco, uh, the Bengals, the Browns, and the Patriots getting those first round buys. Uh, so the Browns with Baker Mayfield in their first season kind of meeting those crazy expectations that they're going to have. It'll be fun to meet them if we end up playing them. And then in the NFC, not a ton of surprises. It looks like the Redskins, a little bit of a surprise with Dwayne Haskins there in their first season sneaking in, but that wouldn't be crazy. They're a competitive team. Looks like Kyler had a good year in his first year with the Niners, but it's going to be the Rams as wild cards with the Eagles, Packers, Saints, Cowboys. Not as many surprises, I think, in the NFC. But uh, good to see my roster holding up there in the simulations. I know people complain about the team overalls, but those records actually look like they held up pretty well. One last quick thing I wanted to address before we get into that first game is we actually had a player get star dev that I actually don't think uh, deserved it. Bryce Callahan had a decent season, but one pick, he had like 94 tackles. I don't know, he, he was fine, but I don't think he deserved a star boost. I think he still deserves quick, certainly. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and take that away from him. Also a reminder, guys, hit that like button. Easiest way to share this content. If you enjoy it and you want more people to see it, support the channel. I want this video to get to a thousand likes. That is my goal. Don't let me be disappointed in you guys. If you're here on episode six, you probably enjoy the series. So hit that like button, really helps me out. So here we go, play the moments. A lot of comments about our jerseys from the previous episodes. Not sure you know, what the computer was picking for us with those weird looking jerseys from the last few episodes, but uh, we're gonna try to remember to not get those in the future, but my apologies if we do get them. So here we go, home game for the Broncos. Come on, Vic. We are just moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half. But it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today, we continue on in Wild Card Weekend with a great AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. Well, thank you, Charles. I can take it from here. So, kind of fitting that two teams that I thought had really good drafts find their way to the first round of the playoffs here. The Bengals, kind of one of my sleeper teams this year. The Broncos having this good draft with Drew Locke kind of taking over. So, defense needs our help. Let's actually play a little defense here. It's, uh, what down is it? First down. So, if we could keep them out of the end zone, that'd be nice. Gonna put uh, Harris in there. A little extra run defense. Although they are going empty. Way to knock it out. Bowman. The veteran move right there. Nice. That's big right there on first down. So now they're going 
two tight ends. This is what I'm talking about here with the formation subs. If you hit RB, someone was asking about this. A lot of you already know, obviously, but uh, if you hit RB in that formation play calling menu, you can easily sub in anyone you want, and it's the best way to get realistic. Uh, sorry, I got distracted in the middle of that play. Good coverage, Vaughn. It's the best way to get realistic formations in there. So like here, we want to take the more run defending guy off and let's actually put in Draymond Jones, see if we can get a pass rush from him. And I'm gonna use her Von Miller. Oh, come on, really? Just tackle. <laughs> Not gonna see Andy Dalton escaping Von Miller's grasps too often. Well, that's a victory of a moment right there. Way to keep the score down, D. So we still got three moments left and a full drive. Uh, looks like we're back on defense. They're driving. Uh... <laughs> All right, now we're back on offense. Come on, guys. We got the ball. First and goal from the nine. Let's trust it. Let's save this. Third down. Come on, get it in. There we go. Back on defense. They held him to a field goal. Two minute drill with a minute and 10 to go. Is that enough time? This would be a huge swing if we could do this. We still get two moments in the second half. I think we should take over here and try to get this done. All right, all right. I was afraid he was gonna miss that throw. Just like that. <laughs> oh, I needed to make that guy miss. Time out. Jesse Bates just too good. There we go. Way to hang in there and deliver that ball about to get hit, Drew Lock. Beautiful play. All right, come on, boys, let's go. Oh my God, Carl Lawson. I have not been beat that fast <laughs> in a long, long time. Oh my God, Jawan Taylor just got absolutely roasted. Go get it. Oh, he got it. Noah Fant, and what a throw by Drew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was sick. That was Rodgers-esque, reminiscent of the Cowboys throw to Jared Cook. Oh, he's got it. Throw it low. Yeah, baby. The lock to Fant hookup. What a drive. That was huge. So we got two play the moments left. We got a red zone alert here. Let's take over. Wow, after that loss and sack, that was looking pretty doubtful to score there, but we will take that. Again, Defant. Wow, that connection is working today. Drew Locke, nice day, 14 of 20. How about Fant going up to get that thing? Wait, what is, what is going on? What is going on? You guys see what I see? What? I am so confused. Is this Drew Locke or is this Philip Lindsay? What just happened? So much for realistic rebuild. What? I have never seen anything like that. <laughs> Thanks, EA. Wow. Okay. Just pretend that that happened, guys. Okay, we gotta get this in. I'm gonna run it. If we don't get it, we might go for it, depending on how close we get. There you go, Lindsey! Proving those haters wrong. Saying 76 overall is too big of a nerf. Little boy fights for some yardage. Hang on, this drive's not done yet. EA. We're gonna go for two, make this a two-score game. See if Sutton can beat his man there. 
There you go. What a drive. We gotta start playing better too because too many people tell me that I suck at this game. So we got one more moment left. Defense is doing a good job hanging on. Oh boy, this is close. Game's on the line, make the stop. Let's skip this. Skip this. All right, we're good. I think, oh no, they have the ball, so this is it. And when I say full drive for the uh, play the moment rules, I should clarify that's offensive drives. So we can always play on defense. It's just it usually only tells you to play on defense in the red zone in moments like this. Oh, let's go, Navarro Bowman. Seals the deal off the tip. Oh, that's actually Todd Davis. All right. What a game. What a game. And we actually didn't totally suck when we did our moments. How about that? That Drew Locke thing was so weird. I've never seen them put two of the same quarterbacks in the game. What the hell was that? So Drew Locke did not disappoint there in that first game. Did have the one interception, but uh, some big moments for sure. Noah Fant dominated for us. Deshaun Hamilton kind of showed up. How about our defense? So we get a uh, sack and a half from Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, a pick from Todd Davis. What a game. Should probably do our coach upgrades. So I think we probably want to do quarterback training boost is the biggest priority for us. Because Drew Locke is the future, man. So Jeff Howerman picks up an upgrade. We want to go blocking for Howerman because Noah Fant is our number one receiving tight end. We got to make sure we got good blockers behind him. And then Sua, I'd normally go hybrid, but I think I might actually go with run defending here. It's the scheme fit. And wow, the run defense upgrade actually gives him man and zone coverage. That's the second time I've gotten a good upgrade from the run support. I, I think that might actually be the best upgrade for the safeties. Hybrid's not bad either, but that's, that's pretty freaking good right there. All right, so we are advancing. I'm pretty sure we'll play the Browns, unless the Colts win. Yep. So a couple young quarterbacks here. Drew Locke now the one with the playoff experience instead of uh, Baker Mayfield. And then let's see what the rest of the playoffs look like. So it's gonna be the Steelers and the Patriots. One of those two will be back in the AFC Championship. So a couple of young teams playing each other and a couple of vetted teams. We got Eagles, Cowboys, and a rematch of Rams Saints. I think that'd be a pretty freaking entertaining AFC play, or just NFL playoffs. And again, I, I think that's pretty realistic for my roster holding up there pretty damn well uh, in the simulation, even though some people complain about the team overalls. They seem to hold up pretty well in franchise mode, if you ask me. So here we go. Play the moments in Cleveland. Let's see what jerseys they've got us wearing. I think I'm going to put some uh, colored pants on because if it's snowing, I'm not going to be able to see myself. So let's go with that. Baker's fired up. It's his first playoff game in his hopefully long career. Should we just take the lead? Should we try to take the lead on the opening drive? Why not? Come out hot. Make a statement on the road. I like that idea. Kind of like the idea of hitting. 
Hitting Lindsay like this. If he can get some speed, get away from him. Oh, I like the amount of space on that side of the field. That's all right. That's a good first down play. I want to try to utilize his speed like that. Got these two good corners, Greedy and Ward. Oh. There's Greedy with the run defense. They said he couldn't do it. What the hell? He's supposed to be soft. All right, come on, boys. We're using our drive for this. Ugh. I don't think I had anyone open there. Probably did. You guys will make me hear it if I did. We're going to count that as a, <clears throat> a moment because we didn't get a first down. I think that's fair. Good punt, though. So we got three moments left. Defense is hanging on. Here's another opportunity for a drive. So let's, uh, let's do this now. Long one, too. This would be a huge pivot point for this game. This defense is actually pretty scary. Nice play. There you go, Sutton. Good throw lock. About to get blasted. Way to get rid of that thing. We definitely have a pretty strong disadvantage with this offensive line against this pass rush. Nowhere to go. Nice play, Sanders. Way to go. Oh, wow, that was weird. Ward was all over that, covering the tight end. Let's see if we can get a bit of a run going here. Come on, block. Five carries, six yards. Nice. Fant's becoming Mr. Reliable. Oh. Hold on to it. Good play. Way to get rid of that thing, Drew Locke. Hit the quick out here. <laughs> well. Not exactly how you draw it up. Also, I totally forgot that Hugh Jackson is still the coach here in Madden. Uh, I wish that were not the case. <laughs> good run, good run. Really good run on first down. I don't know what's more realistic, having a clone of Drew Locke in at running back while Drew Locke also hands him the ball or having Hugh Jackson still as the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. It's got to be one of the two. That's a first. This has been a hell of a drive. This is a game-changing drive. Wait, that wasn't a first down? Are you kidding me? My butt. Look at that ball. It's our. It's like halfway over the goal, halfway over the yardage marker. That's right. They're not even gonna stop the sneak. Oh man, Gennard Avery blows that one up. Jeez, we lost a lot of yardage there. Weren't we on the three? Oh no. This is not going to be easy. Might be able to hit Sutton though, depending on what that safety does. Just block for me, guys. Oh, he missed him. He was open. Well, we end up getting points. Flip field position. Just need the defense to hang on. Should we play? We only have two moments left. The odds of us getting a stop are pretty low. I think we should trust it. They do not get the stop. There is a drive. Good work. And we got the ball back. We don't have a drive, though, to play. But uh, red zone alert. Let's do this. If we could get these points, that'd be pretty big. Oh, what? Did, oh, no. What? Uh, freaking Madden. I didn't even have Chew Clock on. What is that all about? What the hell? 
How did that happen? It chewed up 30 seconds. Why was Chew Clock on? This is so dumb. <laughs> Jeez. Go get it. Ugh. I'm so disappointed. We're not counting this, by the way. There's no way we're counting this. I'll kick the field goal, but my god, we are not counting that. Stay in. Whew. So still two moments. Because that was crap. Alright, here we go. Here's a red zone opportunity. Chance to go up two scores. we got to be careful because a field goal would give us a two-score lead. And trusting our defense here that's played great in these playoffs. Nice play. Drew Locke's having a good day. Oh, Drew. You're killing me. He's wide open. One moment left. Come on, defense. They're hanging in there. Go score offense. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. I think this this will have to do. This is more about chewing clock than going down to score, so I'm not even going to count it as a full drive because the end goal here is to finish with the clock hitting zero. That is the TFG roster at its finest right there, boys. Throw it over the middle. No crazy jump animation. That was a big-time throw and catch. I'm not going to chew the clock all the way down to zero just because we are playing with eight-minute quarters. Keep it a little... Uh... Oh, hit that block, Janovich. You're a pro bowler, and you're missing easy, easy blocks. Nice blocking. Greedy with another big run defense play there. So we're going to let this go down to the two-minute warning. It would be really hard to punt this thing away and trust the defense. So hopefully we can uh, just end the game more or less right here. Mm. That's not good. Felt pretty good about that punt. Oh, don't bounce up. Oh, let's go. It almost hit him. Uh, yep, we're going to trust it. Play by the rules. It's our first year. If we break, it was still a phenomenal season. This is a defensive team, though. They should be able to hold up in simulation here. And they do not. They had him on fourth and goal, and Baker Mayfield just magic. Or fourth all the way backed up. Maybe we can pull some crazy crap here. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go. Go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ha! 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 Hi, keep your helmets on, boys. Browns fans are going to be throwing beer bottles after that one. Hugh Jackson, what are you doing? Noah Fant. Clutch money. <laughs> I was so scared he was going to get caught. Wow. Hugh Jackson knows he's getting fired after that. Although the game won't fire him. And how about the throw by Drew Locke? Just on the money. Clutch money. I think we got to give Drew Locke and Noah Fant the clutch traits, right? I, I can't think of another performance that would earn that. After these last two weeks in the playoffs, I think they've earned that, certainly. I think Baker Mayfield already has it, too. That was a pretty clutch drive by him. Wow. Let's do these upgrades. McManus. 
I'm actually gonna go accuracy. I don't think it ever really matters. You always just get awareness. Sweet. Deshaun Hamilton. I think I'm actually gonna go slot for him. Brendan Langley. I heard he actually moved to receiver. I'm not gonna do that here just because I'd have to re-rank him and all that. Uh, we'll go zone. Wow. I'm still in shock. So Drew Locke is going to get the clutch trait. Same with Noah Fant. And I believe we will be taking on the Pittsburgh Stollers in the AFC Championship at home. <laughs> We're playing the AFC Championship in Denver in the first year of the rebuild. All right. So four play the moments, a maximum of one full drive. And we're gonna go with those blue jerseys again. So I can't believe we're here. We hold them to a field goal on the opening drive. They're in the red zone again, second down. Let's trust it. Another field goal. So we need an offensive chance here. Come on, boys. Defense is doing their job. Von Miller must be hungry. Let's see, third and one. Let's trust this, hope to get a red zone opportunity. Now they come away empty handed. But a two minute drill here. We can still go down and take the lead and have a uh, replay the moments in the second half here worst case we get a field goal mate well worst case is we get nothing but maybe we can get a field goal would be nice too there's a play oh I thought he was gonna stay up that would have been incredible I don't think I want to run the draw against this front. Just marching on down. Steelers defense ain't got nothing on Drew Locke. Was hoping Ted Cross was going to leave that double and pick up that guy. All right, 40 seconds. Looks like we got a blitz coming here. Oh, just missed him. Looks like it's going to be the field goal route. It's going to be a tough kick. Right down the middle. Well, not sure our computer would have pulled that off. And here we go. Red zone opportunity. Again, it like chewed the clock right out of the snap there. We gotta be cautious of that in the future. Uh, hip hit animation. We got a six foot three wide receiver, but he's utterly useless because of a single crappy animation. Hmm. That was a little too much to ask for our <laughs> blocking to hold up that much on the edge. Hopefully we don't have to settle for another field goal here. Maybe we can squeeze this in there on a tight pass. Won't be easy. Sutton might come open. Safety with outside leverage. We'll watch that free safety. It's open. Yes, baby. Nice throw, Drew. That's what I'm talking about. Defense needs help. I think we should play it. Come on, boys. Oh no, that was a little nifty maneuver by Josie Jewell, but I missed on the tackle. That's not ideal there for a first down. Watch the toss.
There we go. Let's get uh, Sua Cravens in there for some extra coverage on the goal line here. Hopefully they don't run it. Two tight ends. I don't think they will. There we go. Good stop. Let's see what they do here. Field goal. I think that was worth it to keep the lead. And we still got one moment left. It's not going to be easy down the stretch. Come on, O. We need some help. Oh, another field goal. All right, here we go. I know we already did a drive, but this is all we're going to get. So we got to use it. Basically a red zone look. Second down. Jeez, no! All right, we can't end on that. Jeez. Really? We didn't get a single opportunity there? Shoot. I thought for sure we would get the ball back. Aw, oh, man. Philip Lindsay, you blew it, dude. You absolutely freaking blew it. Oh, wow. That just gave us a chance. Ah, oh, man. So disappointing. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Wait, what? God, I wanna like restart this game. I feel gypped. They weren't, they couldn't chew the clock out. Did they really kick a field goal and eat up the whole clock? Well, Philip, you're the new team GOAT, and I don't mean that in a good way. Pathetic, dude. The rest of this team gave it gave it their all. The offense as a whole didn't quite uh, pull it together, but they were in position. Defense kind of fell apart at the very end, so that's that's a that's a bad beat. But it is what it is. All great teams face adversity at some point. It was still a great first season, an absolutely great first season. I'm just gonna auto upgrade these guys because who really cares? Um, wow. That was fun, man. That was a fun first season. We got to keep our chin up. We'll be back. We've got a young quarterback. We still have some of these young defenders in our prime. We'll be back. Sucks to come out come out just one point short in field goal range and have your, your supposedly star running back fumble. But, uh, man, that hurts. But I hope you found that entertaining. I hope you're looking forward to the offseason. I certainly am. Please hit that like button, guys. We'll be back with more in a little bit. Cheers, as always, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.